Welcome, so this is just a short update video. So recently you might have found out that Flair Finance has rolled out the version 2 of the smart contracts. And some of you might wonder, uh, where did my, uh, well, where did my tokens go? Where are my Flare X tokens and so on? And the, f uh, the V2 um, products are, own, are its own smart contracts again. So in this case, they are also still launching the version 1 um, interfaces, how you can interact with the old smart contracts. So you can see here at products v1, and you just click on those here. And if you click on these here, you can see that I have still a balancer, obviously you have to um, allow it here, and go to liquidity, and you can see there is their old stake. So for those of you wondering, uh, where has your liquidity gone, or where are your tokens now, they're still uh, at the place where they were, but you just have to click on V1, V1 in this case. So you can just go to Flare X V1 or Flare Loans V1, and then, um, well, remove the liquidity. So in my case, you can see here, they've got still um, 2.25 tokens in the liquidity pool. So now I'm gonna remove my liquidity. For example, if you want to, well, go back. So um, remove and supply, five remove, is the remove all button, there was one, but never mind. And I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna enter the amount 100% and approve LP tokens. And now we're moving my tokens. Right, so now my balance is gonna increase. You can see now that the Flare X tokens are gonna be gone in any second now. I'm just waiting on that, waiting, waiting, waiting. All right, and now my Flare X tokens should be gone. Any second now. Yep, so they should be, but I don't know if they are. Just refresh here. Well, I'm just gonna refresh the website here. It looks like they're still there, so I'm just gonna try again. Remove 100%, uh, remove all, oh, I'll remove all. I'm not sure if I did it right, and I have to try it again, done. All right. Okay, so it looks good now. So if I have a look now into the assets again, we can see now that my Flex tokens, so this is the, these are the old ones, these are the new ones. So this is hard for you to tell right now, but you can see from where it was being accessed, so you can uh, see it that way. And right, so that's right there. So I removed my liquidity and got my tokens back from liqu liquidity pool. And that's more or less all you have to do. If you have some loans still left, Okay, I don't think this is even usable. So yeah, thus far, this more or less it. So if you have liquidity lock locked up, you could just remove it and that's it. And then after you're done, you can go to the main product. So to uh, so this is already the V1 version. So you can just close it. And now you can use the V2 version, which now has the Flare Farm, Flare Loans, and Flare X. And the Flare Loans, you can mint uh, the Canary Dollars. Uh, at any given time. So you can see, for example, do for example, want to mint 10 Canary dollars and have to specify a certain collateral. And yeah, you can just define a certain collateral. So in order to get 10, whatever, um, what is it? in order to get 10 Canary dollars, you can define how many song would you want to leave in order to, um, yeah, as collateral in, in case the price will go out, uh, too far. So there's a certain called long term value, I think it's LTV. Hopefully, I'm not saying it wrong here. Uh, and the case here is just that if, if, the, if, the, if the proportion goes out too much out of balance, then you get liquidated and your collateral will be used. And yeah, that's more or less how you can mint, uh, mint uh, Canary dollars. Then you've got the product Flare Farms on, the f uh, on Flare X. Uh, there you can supply liquidity, so I'm just going to do that quickly. So this is just a quick walkthrough also with fun uh, additional functionality. Um, right, so now we're going to Flare X and a given second. Ah, uh, come on. I'm just going to refresh the website. It's quite slow right now. Okay, perfect. So now we can see I don't have any stake here in the pool, so I can provide liquidity. I can, for example, provide 10 Stronger tokens and the current counterpart is 3.29 Canary Dollars. I don't have any Canary Dollars. Now either I have to mint those or I can buy them at the, uh, buy them at the with the decentralized exchange. So I will be buying them here. I'm gonna be, bu I'm gonna be buying like whatever. Um, I'm gonna be paying 10 Songbird and get in, get in, uh, well, get for that uh, 3.28 so I'm just going to click on swap here and confirm this transaction. 
so we have to wait again. So now they also added uh, the, the latest buy and sell orders here. Alright, so I right now bought my Canary Dollars, now I can go to liquidity pool and for example provide liquidity. So in this case I'm just going to enter 6 and the counter amount will be entered automatically. Because as we know, if you provide liquidity to a liquidity pool, you have to give 50% of one token, and f so 50% of the one asset and 50% of, of the other asset into it. Uh, now I'm going to approve that. Uh, now we supply liquidity to the liquidity pool. And whenever somebody trades, uh, we uh, more or less, uh, well, the liquidity pool quote unquote earns money. So as soon as you remove the liquidity, so after I supply liquidity, I get a certain amount of shares of the pool. So after I did that, so the transaction was confirmed. So I can close it here. If I look now, at the, I'm going to remove the old Flare X tokens because they don't matter. So it's stuck. I assume it didn't work again. <laughs> Let's see. It doesn't look like it, so I'm gonna I have to do it again. <laughs> so as you can see, it's it's there. They're a little bit buggy. Uh, so I'm just gonna do it again then. It seems like I always have to double confirm, but yeah, let's see. Okay, still trying. And yeah, let's check the transactions here. It's doing anything. So now it works. Okay, perfect. So now we can see here that I'm just gonna remove my old Flare X. This, this, is, the, this is the old token of the V1 contract. I'm just gonna remove them. And we can see here now I own 10.257 Flare X tokens. So this is my stake in the pool. I own 10.257 out of whatever, how many uh, are there, there, there are. And this is my current stake, like I said, in the pool. So yeah, I can change the stake and remove some liquidity here. I can add, provide more liquidity. And whenever people trade using a DAX, in this case here, we get, uh, well, more money gets added to the liquidity pool. So the fees like, what is it? Like 0.2% or something like that. So it's a price impact, no, it doesn't say it here, but I think like 0.2% per trade, or maybe if I click on swap, maybe then it's showing the fee. It's just a guess in this case, but also pr uh, it plus uh, the fee of um plus the fee of uh plus the trading fee i mean right so it's the next part so right now i like i said um by providing liquidity i get these flare x tokens so if we go to assets we can see now i've got my 10.257 flare x tokens and now there's the last farm there's the flare farm and on the flare farm there's there's another liquidity pool for songbird and canary dollars liquidity pool and you get rewarded here in d flare so if I start staking, and um, for example, now put in there like, now I can use the Flare X tokens uh, in or and stake those. And if I, for example, stake them, I get the Flare rewards. So I'm just gonna do that here. So now let's see if I have to double uh, check again. Let's see. All right. <laughs> Still loading, perfect. And right, so now I just stake right now 10.256, um, right, the uh, Flare X tokens. And now, now as you can see here, currently there are 4,800 4, Flare being uh, given out to all the people staking it. So you get a small fraction of that. And then you can see here how much unclaimed you have. And right, and then claim your stake if there's something in there. So right now it wouldn't make sense to uh, do that because I only have a stake right now. Uh, but right now, so we can let's see what my portfolio, okay, these things are the same. Okay, oh, because obviously it is in my portfolio. They are going to intend to probably also have more staking pools. Uh, but, and if I exit, I just also pay the normal fees. But yeah, perfect, that's more or less it. So it's an incentive to more or less uh, stay in the liquidity pool and not, uh, I don't know, enter and leave uh, at will. So now it's like a double incentive, I, I guess. Because you're also staking the uh, the tokens yourself and also get um, rewards in Deflare as well. Hopefully I'm not making a explanation uh, mistake here. I just wanted to show you the entire process. So like I said, uh, that's how you can, either you can also um, get your Canary Dollars by just using Flare loans and minting uh, Canary Dollars uh, and then giving collateral. 
So there's one po uh, possibility, and you can see here there's the liquidation, so you can get liquidated if you don't provide enough collateral. So, ah, there's the, yeah, it's total value locked. Uh, we can see the stability here, and I was just wondering if there's like a ratio which is needed, but never mind. So we can see also see how many deflare are staked right now. And yeah, that's overall how you can do it. So like I said, Flare, Flare Loans first part, or you can already move on to Flare X. And on Flare X, you can just buy Canary Dollars using Songbird. So you're selling Songbird and getting Canary Dollars. And then you can go to Liquidity, provide uh, liquidity in order to get the Flare X tokens. So meaning uh, you have a certain pool share. And then finally, you can go to Flare Farm in order to stake your Deflare token. And then you get, the, uh, uh, in order to stake your Flare X token, and as a reward, you get Deflare tokens. All right, I hope I was able to sum it up. I hope I was explaining it more or less in a clear manner. Um, obviously, in, uh, before you invest larger amounts, I would recommend uh, like having basic understandings a basic understanding of uh, how liquidity pools work, what impermanent loss is. You should know um, that this is also, like I said, experimental. So there could be bugs and issues. Uh, uh, yeah, it's just a general warning. Uh, please be advised that you first have to understand the products before you more or less use them. Right. So like I said, the most important part, I guess, is impermanent loss. So in order, you have to understand that. All right. So yeah, that's generally speaking it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.